Now we will see how to give a style for the XML file either with the CSS or with the XSL. The first two lines of the XML file will be informing the browser that it is the XML file and the version is 1.0 and we are trying to adopt the style from the style sheet of the type CSS and where is the file has been stored that will be given as a location for the HRDF hyperlink reference. 5a.css is the file name and both has been stored in the same folder. And this program particularly regarding with the store where it is having different catalog items that is books, electronic stationeries, clothes and others. So the root tag I had given it as a catalog and the sub tags it can be anything and the data what has been has to be displayed that has been written within the tags. XML can have user defined tags that is the first basic difference between the XML and the HTML. XML can have user defined tags. As it has been linked with the CSS, we will check into the CSS file. So for each tag, whatever the tag name we had given here, that tag name is specified here and whatever the style we want that we have mentioned it here. The general mistakes what the students will do in the CSS file is instead of colon, they specify as equal to or they will forget to give the semicolon at the end or instead of flower brackets they will be using the parenthesis and if you do any mistake in the CSS or if you have linked up to the file which is not existing then it will display the output but it will not adopt the style whatever we had given here like for everything we had specified as blue color that it will not be adopting. So in a single line the by default color is black it has been printed into the black but if I had given the correct file name here then you are going to get the output in the blue color. I haven't used the break tag but you got into the different lines. Why means the display block is going to help just like your new line character or the break tag. It is going to block the complete line here. So that for the V tag I had given the display block. B tag is nothing for the books. So it has been blocked the space, the first line, the completely for that particular tag. In the similar way, the second line also had given. So for the second tag, it has been completely blocked. We will see if the display block has been removed for the B tag and the E tag, what happens? Save the file, go to the browser, refresh. So as the display block has been removed for these two, it has come in the single line. If I haven't given for any of the tags the display block, then all the tags information is going to come in a single line. 